strong side of intellectual health that we should be here this evening discussing ourselves, as it were, because the motion before us is that this House maintains that the public school system should be abolished. Uh, may I then call on the first speaker for the government to make his case. We do not want to see public schools just disappear from the face of the earth. We want to abolish them with an aim to reintegrating it with a better system, something I feel towards which we should all work. <coughs> when we come to this school, we are made to wear clothes which many of us detest. This is something that can be quite easily changed, but I pick it as a symbolistic example of the unrealistic attitude taken up by the public school. In the same way, meals are produced for us at a set time. We are punished if we are late. Gentlemen at this age, punished if you are late for turning up to a meal. But I would suggest it is not the headmaster's ruling that is at fault. It is the whole basic fundamental nature of the public school. The idea of cutting oneself off from society, of migrating at intervals to a monasterial building where monasterial discipline is enforced with monastic strictness is totally unreal. <laughs> <laughs>